have great reverence and awe for the universe. I'm wondering if you believe in God or a higher power of some form. I've spoken with people who have had deep religious experiences and they use, there's a certain vocabulary that they draw from. They talk about majesty and being humbled and being awed. And I look at the universe and I'm using all their same vocabulary. And I'm, I feel sort of energized and lifted. I wonder if it's stimulating the same part of the brain. This is a question I've actually formally posed to neuroscientists to sort of check this out. These are the folks that have put electrodes in your brain and see what excites one region versus another. Every account of a higher power that I've seen described of all religions, okay, that I have seen, include many statements with regard to the benevolence of that higher power. And when I look at the universe and all the ways the universe wants to kill us, I find it hard to reconcile that with statements of beneficence. So, personally, I, I, it's hard for me to make that connection. That being said, there's about 40% of American scientists pray to a personal God. So, empirically, to be a scientist is not the same thing as to be an atheist. Empirically, because we have 40%. Now, there, depending on which scientific discipline you ask, the, that percent will be different, but it averages to 40. In the general American public, the number is up around 90. So there is a difference between the general public and scientists. But those scientists, just to make it clear, who are productive as scientists are not getting their science out of the Bible. What, what, what Galileo noted 400 years ago, he was the first to really make this observation of things. He said, after careful study of the Bible and after careful study of the universe, he concluded, the Bible tells you how to go to heaven, not how the heavens go.